And I had an opportunity to sit down with a sheriff who's changing his party affiliation from Democrat to Republican because of the anti-police sentiment. And he's not the only one who's making that shift. Westmoreland County Sheriff James Albert has been making some changes in his department since taking over in January. We have definitely added training. He's updating the design of his department patch. Don't tread on me doesn't seem like the symbol of a lifelong Democrat. <laughs> well, that's why I'm a Republican now. <laughs> and he's modifying his political party, going from a Democrat, which he ran as, to a Republican. I always considered myself a conservative Democrat. And uh, as time went on and the party moved to the left, I started to see I was more uh, in line thinking as a Republican. In his more than 40 year career in law enforcement, Sheriff Albert is stuck to the blue side of the aisle. When you were a detective, how did you vote? The Democratic Party. When you ran for district judge, what ticket did you run on? Democrat, Republican. You can cross file. When you ran for city council? Oh, that was the Democratic ticket. And when you ran as sheriff, what ticket did you run on? Democrat. How many years were you a Democrat? All of my life until uh, this past Monday. The sheriff's shift appears to have been embraced by colleagues, including the department's union president. Did it concern you, his move? No, um, he's very open, uh, very pro-union, and uh, very uh, much uh, conservative. The Westmoreland County Sheriff's Department is an arm of the Pennsylvania courts. They also act as backup to the local police departments, like when protests against police brutality hit the state. In the past few months, with all the goings on in the uh, news media, with the uh, protests, the riots, the uh, looting, burning, assaults on law enforcement, and the silence of the Democratic Party was deafening. At least seven sheriffs across the nation have switched their political party since 2017. And Sheriff Albert says he wouldn't be surprised if more make the move. I have received a number of phone calls from sheriffs across Pennsylvania. And they've notified me, some of them have, that they are switching from the Democrat to the Republican Party also. And I think it's happening often. So could the Pennsylvania Sheriff's party switch be an indicator for how this swing state may vote in November? I believe that uh, Pennsylvania will vote for President Trump. You're a lifelong Democrat in Pennsylvania. Were you always skeptical of Joe Biden? I think more recently. I, I thought he was a pretty good candidate. But that was some years ago. He's alluded to the fact of... Uh, cutting funds for police, and so I'm very skeptical of, uh, of Biden and Harris. I, I will support President Trump again. Why do you think he's changed? The party itself has moved to the left, and he's kind of moved along with them. You've said something similar about your own choice, your own move to become a Republican. Yeah, I didn't leave the Democratic Party, it left me.